Hello everyone, this is the Commando, and today has been a very exciting day. The first episode of The Mandalorian Season 2 has premiered, I just watched it. It's 55 minutes, so a lot of Star Wars content that we've been wanting. We haven't gotten too much lately, but I'm just going to get straight into reviewing this episode. So, to start the episode, there's a recap of stuff that happened last season, so just a little stuff from each episode, but I'm going to talk about what happened this episode. So, first of all, Mando and Baby are just, Mando and Baby Yoda are just walking through the street, and they enter this gladiator place where there's a battle going on between two Gamoran guards, nice to see them as a bit of an easter egg there. So, yeah, the Mando and the Cyclops die are watching them, but the Cyclops die wants Mando's best Tarama because it is very, very valuable. So then a fight happens between the Mandalorian and the associates of the Cyclops die. I don't know his name, so I'm just going to call him the Cyclops. So in the end, Mando wins, and the Cyclops is attached to this pole and Han there, and Mando forces him to tell, and so, so then the Cyclops is forced to tell Mando that there is a Mandalorian on Tatooine. So then the Mandalorian goes to Tatooine, lands there with that girl from last season, and he takes a speeder bike to Mos Pelda, Mos Pelda, which is some kind of abandoned mining settlement and baby yoda comes along he starts nice little pocket place and he's very cute and so then mando meets the marshal at most Peldo. that's the mandalorian guy this is the guy who is boba fett's armor and then we also learned that there's a crate dragon by most Peldo. So then the marshal, who's Cobb Vanth, talks to Mando about how mining people invaded Mos Pelda in the past and that Vando was left wandering out of the town and he was saved by the Jawa Sandcrawler. He traded some kind of crystals for the Boba Fett armor and that's where he got the armor. Um, by the way, he looks really silly in the armor. Um, he's got like the red flannel shirt or whatever, and it looks ridiculous. It looks like some kind of kid costume. It looks pretty funny. So yeah, that's how he got the armor. Um, and then he comes back with the armor um, and destroys all of the mining people that invaded Mos Peldo. So then back into present time, they meet some of these dinosaur dog-like creatures. They're pretty cool looking. And Mando communicates with them to calm them down. It's a special kind of language. And then some Tuscan Raiders come, and Mando can also communicate with them. It's cool to see someone actually peacefully interacting with the Tuscans because they're usually quite the hated species in the Star Wars universe. Not just the men, but the women and the children too, from episode two, Attack of the Clones. So yeah, then the Mando launch after communing, uh, communicating with them that they want to kill the Kray as well. So they team up. Back at the Tuscan camp, Vanth, just it's a little angry with these guys, and nobody really liked the Tuscans except Mando. He can communicate them. He probably doesn't like them, but he can communicate with them. So yeah, Vanth does not like this idea, and he agitates the Tuscans, but Mando is able to break things up. So then we learn that the crate lives in an abandoned Sarlacc pit where a Tuscan so a Tuscan goes up to it, and it's absolutely devoured by it, and Baby Yoda is sad, so we get to see some more emotional Baby Yoda moments. And then we head back to Mos Pelda, where Mando briefs the town to attack the crate. Obviously, the Tuscans and people are teaming up, and this doesn't go the best. 
and then they go to the abandoned Sawlack pit and the fight begins. First, some testing a testing goes to the pit and sets that the crate is sleeping. So then they need to awake it if they, they want to kind of anger it so they can defeat it. Then the testants awake it and the grapples are fired at it, but the crate is able to retreat back into the pit and people fire guns while it's retreating. And then later this crate, the crate comes back up, out kind of, and I don't know if this is poison coming out of its mouth or what. There's this yellow substance that it throws up out of its mouth. That's pretty disgusting, and I think it kills people. So it's either just deadly throw up or some kind of poison. And then they've planted some detonators, so they activate the bomb, but the crate does survive and they go to the top of the mountain. Then Mando and Vanth fly up that mountain and fire the crate. Vanth fires a missile to distract it, but Mando has an idea. So he and a banther with detonators on it are swallowed by the crate. But Mando is able to get out and the crate dies because the Banthard's dead on detonators were activated. That's how Mando got out as well. So yeah, an epic battle scene with the crate, and that's uh, quite a long scene. So yeah, some really nice action in this, and this is already better than season one. Also, at the end, we get to see Tamara Morrison. I think he's Captain Rex. Yes, we're getting the Clone Wars back again. So hopefully he will have a role in the following episodes. Obviously a rumor was about Cobb Vanth and that came true. So now this is going to be an epic season. We're going to get some things from Star Wars in the past like Ahsoka, Captain Rex, and we already got Boba Fett's armor. So a fantastic episode and I just can't wait for next week. So I'll be reviewing that and make sure to subscribe. A like and share this video so you can stay tuned for all the latest uploads and this is the commander signing out